Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Yoko. For those who don't know me, I'm a Japanese living in Japan who is a huge Trump supporter and hey, I can't stop smiling because I'm so excited to make this video today. Why? I don't know, I'm just super excited to share what I'm about to share with you today. So long story short, you guys know that I'm a huge, huge Trump supporter, right? And uh, what happened was I'm such a huge Trump supporter that I got on this popular TV show here in Japan as a Trump supporter and the TV show is nationwide and of course I'm a Trump supporter so I wore the official Trump t-shirt and uh, yeah and I got to talk about Mr. Trump. The show aired like around um, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. which is you know part of what we call golden time like um, around the time that people watch TV most, but it's a what we call variety show and I don't know if that makes sense in English, but basically it's it's an entertainment. So even though the issues that they talk about on the shows are like a you know social matters um, It's supposed to be funny or fun or entertaining So um, I couldn't really talk about anything political I mean I kind of did but of course they decided not to use the those scenes and uh, But it's it was good that uh, my comments were used because I realized that TV industry is really harsh Like if you're not worthy enough your comment will not be used so um, there were some people people that you know that were saying things but they didn't even exist in the show you know so I was very honored and thankful that my comments were used because usually on TV um, as I keep repeating myself you know a lot of the media here are liberal and even like entertainment ones can have bias you know but the show is awesome because basically what the show is about is that you know Japanese people can't say yes and no clearly because that's the beauty that we have like it's our cultural value that we don't say things clearly I don't know I find it beautiful too that we kind of use like um, expressions that you kind of get it but you don't say directly kind of thing and uh, but it and it's good and bad because sometimes you just have to be strong and state your opinions clearly especially if you're involved in like a political um, field and I don't know or business field or whatever so on the show they have like a panel in the background or uh, something to hold like a little card and say they like it or they dislike it like the topic you know so the part where I joined was of course about Mr. Trump and I was there to support Mr. Trump right and there were other people that didn't like him so on the set there were 50 foreigners um, in the middle and on both both sides uh, there were Japanese people like housewives students or young people older people whatever like that and uh, I was um, on the front row where usually specialists or experts sit down but uh, this time it was not like that it was just people <laughs> that was expressing their ideas and I was one of them as a Trump supporter and what was interesting to me as a Japanese was that I am so sorry to say this especially if you're in Japan and if you're conservative but when I see um, foreigners here in Japan I instantly think of them as liberals <laughs> And that's simply because they are so far away from their mother country and I know that there are some people that are very proud of their country and go outside of their country but like you guys know me and I think I have told you guys before but I have a lot of experiences like bad experiences with the foreigners here in Japan especially when I got politically awakened because they wouldn't listen to me like even though they are in Japan they wouldn't respect the Japanese perspective of history and stuff and in my head I just have this allergy in a way don't get me wrong I love the foreigners here I love interacting with them but I just feel distant or something when I see them because of what I've went through before so probably people on the set had different levels of interest in politics so some people like myself obviously have strong opinions but others probably don't so you can't really judge them just by where they stand are sitting you know but it was just so good to see that there are people that would get me or that would 
at least don't hate me, you know? So I was asked two questions and um, one of them was why do I like Mr. Trump so much? I'm like, well, because <laughs> I was gonna talk for like an hour or two hours, but I couldn't so um, uh, the comments they used was so stupid, they're like, I I was so bad at it, but so it was Mr. Trump is saying that he will make America great again And if he does that America will be better Japan will be better Asia will be better and the world will be better <laughs> It's true though because President Obama did the exact the opposite, right? Because first of all he weakened America He also destroyed the balance that we had in East Asia and Asia as a whole and because of that Communist China was like, yeah, it's our time and also uh, Russia was like, yeah, it's our time too and, and then also the terrorists went out of hand too and uh, So I kind of explained that briefly um, when I was Ask that question like why do I like Mr. Trump and so I said that it's American people's choice after eight years of President Obama and uh, They didn't use that <laughs> because it's not fun um, It's so difficult man to comment on TV like you have to be fun you have to state things simple and uh, Just have to be compact and I suck at it. I'm gonna look at my videos. It's <laughs> Everything's like in order to say one thing I spent like 20 minutes or something and it's just not for me, man So another question I was asked was that what do I think of mr. Trump's personality or He said the word like humanity kind of way like I don't know how to translate that in English but basically personality and I <laughs> didn't really answer the question I guess but because what I said was that well Mr. Trump is a symbol of success <laughs> I don't know I just didn't know how to answer that and that was what popped up in my head so I explained that Mr. Trump went through um, bankrupt four times and he got out of that and this time he is becoming the president of the United States and I thought that it was great and that's what I said and also I added that the Japanese version of Mr. Trump will be Takeshi Kitano um, I hope you guys know who he is but if you don't please google him Takeshi Kitano has such a fame in Japan and a lot of foreign people actually enjoy his shows because he's a funny comedian who does crazy things like you never know what he could do and the kind of feeling that you get looking at him and the expectation that you get from Mr. Trump is kind of similar I would say like they're different but you know what people like people think of those people might be kind of close, you know, because they are both on TV, they're very well known, everybody knows them, and they can be loved or hated, <laughs> and they have um, kind of harsh ways of speaking. I don't know what to call them. We call it dokuzetsu in Japanese. I'm too lazy to look that up in English, but. And they have so much influence on people. So I explained that kind of thing in such a short time on the show. So yeah, that's about it because it's not a political show, you know, it's a variety show. So I feel like the main focus of our part was on the Mexican man who hates Mr. Trump so much. I actually had met him before in November when I went on the show, like internet show by Asa. Asahi, I think I told you guys before. I went on the internet TV show by Asahi and uh, it was like three Trump supporters versus um, three um, uh, Trump haters <laughs> or I don't know. Of course he has his way of thinking. I mean I would so um, it's understandable but uh, yeah, it's so interesting that on TV everything becomes funny. <laughs> but what was funny to me was that he was trying to curse in Japanese, but in Japanese language, we don't have the culture of cursing. So like to us it just sounded like he's saying poop, 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 poop like all like over and over again. So it's so it just sounds so funny to us Japanese. So yeah, it just sounded so dirty. Anyways, if you were curious, I took the pictures of the TV screen. Like it's not even a screenshot, sorry, but I took a bunch of pictures of the TV show where I showed up so um you guys can see it yourself and I'm gonna link it below. Anyways, I apologize that I haven't been able to upload videos on this channel as much as I want to. 
And that is because, well, uh, my excuse would be <laughs> that I was exhausted from the Tokyo trip um, last week. And also this week, I've been preparing so much for the party that I'm holding this weekend, which is to celebrate Mr. Trump's inauguration, of course. It sucks that we have time difference and the inauguration will be like 2 a.m. here in Japan. So we'll be all sleeping. So I decided to host a party at... 7 p.m. in Japan, like in Fukuoka Prefecture where I live and so I'm inviting people but people work so much and they have other plans because this is kind of a short notice and um, it's been kind of difficult but I've been just trying to prepare for that I know that there will be like massive protests in the US like you know when the inauguration time comes so I thought that um, before that happens, I'm gonna um, let the world know that Japan supports Mr. Trump. You know, we welcome the new uh, president of the United States because America is such a great friend of ours. Like America is, America matters so much to us, man. And the good thing is that at least one media crew is coming and there might be some more because I haven't even um, talked to the media people yet but one of them already contacted me so I'm hoping that um, other crews will come too so that you know it gets serious that what I'm doing it will be known and that's good because this is the true voice of the Japanese people and next week I'm speaking in front of a lot of people at the town meeting of this political party and of course I'll be talking about Mr. Trump and America in general like how like what's happening in America in the in the world so um I have to prepare for that a lot you know and uh, I don't know like oh, I have so much to prepare so these things are really um, raising me up and I'm really thankful and it's amazing that I can um, bring some influence to the world <laughs> like even though it's a tiny little bit but it's if people get influenced by what i do it's like it's it means the world to me so um it's really cool but at the same time i'm like <laughs> i don't know i i i just hope that i survive this you know by the way i am really hoping that mr trump stays safe because it can be really dangerous out there, especially the inauguration. Uh, it's like um, I'm excited and worried at the same time. Like Mr. Trump is such an amazing new leader, but that means the death of leftists and globalists and establishment all the bad people will try to stop him and i am really hoping that he stays safe anyways i'm gonna let you guys go because i just wanted to let you guys know that uh, i went on tv and i did okay and that it's kind of good that now like ordinary japanese people saw a japanese female <laughs> support mr trump and she thinks that he can he's kind of like um takeshi kitano and that's all what ordinary japanese people need because that's a good start <laughs> i need to stop talking okay okay i gotta let you go oh but before that i almost forgot but if you watch this video till this point then let's put the name lincoln in the comment section below oh can you focus please let's put his name in the comment section below because i think mr trump will be using lincoln's bible at the inauguration i heard so thank you so much guys for watching the next video probably will be about the party that i'm holding because it's wednesday today i'm gonna edit this video tomorrow morning and then yeah probably talk to you after the party okay thank you so so much for watching guys it means so much to me that you guys are there for me and or i mean for each other right i strongly believe that japan u.s relationship is very very important for the world order if you want to help me and um get the result back to you um eventually um please support me on patreon and yeah that way i can go on doing what i'm doing so so thank you so much for watching guys um please take care and please protect mr trump okay and let's celebrate like crazy so take care okay bye